Anyasio. Hello, how are you, YouTube? I hope that you are doing fantastic. In today's video, I thought we'd do a cooking with me, with half my soul. So if you guys don't know anything about me, I am half Korean and I'm kind of on this journey of diving into all things Korean culture as I head to Seoul, South Korea this summer in hopes of finding my birth mom after 28 years of being separated. And so I've been diving into all things food and I thought why not make a traditional Korean dessert with all of you guys and kind of show you how to make it or at least how I've been making it and it's excellent. So the dish is called Bumapang and you make it in this Korean fish pan here and it comes out in the shape of a fish and it is sweetened on the middle or inside with sweetened red beans. So I enjoy it. I love it. They sell it a lot on the street um, at the food markets and all types of different things in Korea. So I thought why not try it for all of you guys in case you wanted to make it yourself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I have the dry ingredients already mixed up in here and that is one cup of plain flour, two tablespoons baking powder, one fourth teaspoon fine sea salt, three tablespoons sugar, and that's it for the dry ingredients. And then I've got one tablespoon melted butter, one egg right here, and then it calls for 175 milliliters of water or milk. I use almond milk. And then for the middle, sweetened red beans. And then obviously you'll need your boomerang pan and a gas stove. I've got this portable one, which is super Korean of me, I know. So now let's mix all these ingredients together. All right, so I've got all the wet and dry ingredients in this bowl. Now it's time to mix it together. And once that's mixed up, I will show you the consistency that it's supposed to look like. All right, so once you have it mixed up, this is what the batter will look like. I tend to like my consistency a little bit on the thick side, so what it looks like there and then I forgot to mention that you will need some type of cooking spray so that your boomerang does not stick to the pan because that would be an absolute disaster but now it's time to assemble everything and start cooking all right so now that I've got my pan and my gas oven here I'm gonna go ahead and coat the fishes thoroughly the pan you want to make sure that you get the top and the bottom because you don't want any of this to stick and then what you're gonna do is turn on the heat here yeah so it'll do something like that you want to let it heat up for just a second and then you're going to pour the batter into the fish pan so I'll show you that guys in just one second once this kind of heats up. Alright, so you want the batter to not cover the entire fish, just the top part right here. Wait to do the fins later and then you'll add the sweetened red beans on top. Alright, so it'll look something like this when you get the red beans on there and then you're going to fill the top of it with the batter and then close it shut. So, Alright, so now it is closed shut and it's going to be a little bit runny, at least in my case it is, but that's alright. I put just a smidge too much batter on there but now you just let it do its thing and I just want to preface I don't really have like a time limit on how long I cook it I just kind of watch it and pay attention and flip it often to make sure that it does not get burnt so this is what it looks like here once it's finished and it's still inside the pan then I've got one plated right here so now we are gonna go and sit down and do a taste test all right so now it's that part of the video where I give this bad boy a taste test and so I love Boomapong and I'm excited about trying it obviously I think it's going to be excellent but if you end up doing this and making the recipe then leave down in the comment section below and let me know that you did it and if you loved it then give this video a thumbs up so without further ado let's dive into it yep. I give this a solid 10 out of 10 so you guys need to try it let me know what you think and I am going to end the video here today so like I say to end every video peace out Girl Scout 
Love you, boo. And keep doing what it is that you're doing because you're amazing and it's amazing. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.